Hi YouTubers, <clears throat> I've had a message from one of my uh, subscribers, uh, basically he's been on CB in years gone by and now he's thinking of starting up again, he's asked me what CB I can recommend, <clears throat> well Paul, it's a bit of an hard one to be honest with you mate, uh, I don't know what your intentions are, I don't know how much money you've got to spend, but <clears throat> I'll just give you my spin on what I think. Right, if you're starting out again, <clears throat> you know, good luck to you, mate. That's the first thing. Uh, I don't know whether you like an old-time DXA, you know, used to sideband and all that. I, I really don't know. So a comment below, please, Paul. Maybe I can do another video, sort of a bit more tailored. But this applies to anybody that's thinking of starting up on CB, mainly within the UK. I mean, abroad, you know, it still applies to you, but maybe your radios available might be different to ours. So it's mainly for people within the UK. <clears throat> if you're going to be just using your CB in your car, I would, uh, right, well, start with the antenna. There you go. Let's make a start on this. Save so dilly dallying around, you know what I'm like. If you're on a tight budget, Paul, get yourself something like the Serio ML145. They're about 30, 35 quid. And they're an half decent antenna, mate. If money isn't so much of an object, I would say get yourself something like the Serio Megawatt 4000, like I've got, or any of the Serio range, really. The more With antennas, the bigger the better. And normally, the more money you spend, the better you're going to be. If you find yourself looking at anything, Paul, or anybody else, wondering, is it worth spending the money? I would never claim to be the fountain of knowledge on CB or CB antennas on YouTube or on the internet. But I know a little bit, you know. And I've got good people around me in the local area that have tried a lot of things. You know, we're all sort of, you know what it's like, CB community. So we've got a good pool of knowledge to uh, work with, including some very experienced amateurs, very knowledgeable people. So right, start again. We've done the antenna. Again, it comes down to money. Now, I'm going to presume here, Paul, and anybody else, that you're just after a basic CB set. Uh, I would, firstly, I'd better say, avoid the handhelds. Handhelds are alright, but I've had a couple in me day, and one of them I spent about 120 quid on. We're too far apart nowadays for an handheld to come into its own. Unless you've got, you know, like home base, and your other half's going down a shop, you know, she can take them, that, that's a bit of fun. But apart from that, I'll forget it. Spend your money on a proper CB. And the basic ones nowadays are sort of multi-standard, so they'll be AM, FM, they've got various frequencies in. I don't know a lot about the basic CBs nowadays because they're bringing out new ones all the time and sort of being, uh, what's the word, having been around a little bit, I use a lot of the old kit. I prefer the old kit myself. But uh, Midlands has still got a range of CBs out and there's one, I think the, the oh God, I think the name, but I think it's Midland 48 Plus. They don't look a, a too, too bad a rig. There's another range out there now called TTI. I don't really know a lot about them, to be honest, but I think they're all pretty much a muchness nowadays. It's mainly about the antenna. You don't have to worry about things like bleed over anymore because, uh, you know, our numbers have declined rapidly, you know. Uh, again, if you've got more questions... If you see a CB and you, you're wondering about it, you stick a, a message in the uh, message section. I'll have a look at it, see what I think. Maybe I've had one, you know. So that's your mobile sort of setup covered, really. And uh, nowadays you'll probably find that you'll need an amplifier. Uh, that, that's another thing, that, you know, that you can end up spending a lot of money. But all I will say with amplifiers, buy the the biggest one you can you know they're still not legal 
but you know that's the way it is nowadays a lot of people are running power you might find yourself calling someone who's eating you at like nine pound they won't come back well you know they might be running 100 watts mate that's that's the truth of the matter and incidentally this is mainly to pull but it can apply to anybody if you do get yourself set up mobile and you sort of find yourself like oh there's nobody on I can't hear, hear anyone get yourself up the local hill and in Paul's case that will be Dunstable Downs, Ivanhoe Beacon or there is a place out near Aylesbury called The Perch I'm sure if you uh, look it up you can find The Perch but that's the furthest one from your bowl get yourself up the downs you will hear people you will make contacts and you can get your, your handle around you know get yourself re-established now should you be deciding to go the other way and be a home base station uh, same applies really with CB uh, and antenna wise you're still looking if you're on a tight budget you're looking at something like a silver rod I would go for the 5 8 wave myself uh, or if you've got a little bit more money to spend then the next one up is the Antron 99 fiberglass antenna about 18 foot long I've got one loads of people have had them over the years they're alright I bought mine from uh, Thunderpole in Northampton though Rocket Radio in Letchworth also stock them you can probably get one off eBay as well uh, you're also going to need an SWR meter patch lead and a power supply I recommend getting the biggest power supply you can afford now you've got to sort of work it out in a balance you can pay nearly £200 for a power supply so you wouldn't want a £200 power supply and a £49.99 rig you know you'd be better off going the other way spending the money on a radio uh, so where are we well we've covered your basic CB type things and I will say if you're Uh, what's the word if you've been on sideband before and that appeals to you still because you've only got to type in something like uh, 27.555 USB and that is like the international illegal calling frequency on up the sideband you'll see loads of contacts going on in there from all corners of the world if that appeals to you and you're looking at getting another sidebander if you've got the money I would say avoid eBay you can pick up some real good kit on eBay but a lot of it has been screwdrivered and modified to death you know and it, you could end up spending quite a lot of money on quite a pile of junk to be honest just because a rig in its day was the bees knees 30 years ago don't mean to say it's going to work like a brand new rig now you know that's what I'm saying so if you're on that note, if you're thinking of getting yourself a new sidebander, you've got plenty of money to spend. Uh, you can now buy a brand new President Grant Mark II or a brand new President Lincoln Mark II. I think the Lincoln is the one to go for, but I don't know why. People have always liked the Lincolns. The President Lincoln Mark II is quite new. It's only been out a couple of months from what I remember. But people have took a shine to them. Now you're talking about experienced radio users. You know, whether they be in amateur radio or CB radio. They're giving them the thumbs up. That's good enough for me. So if you're going to get yourself a sidebander, Paul, or anybody else, those couple of rigs are worth thinking about. Now, there is loads more others, but I'm just giving you a, a guide. Uh, if you get any problems or questions ask again this applies to anybody and if need be I'll do you a, like, a tailored video just just for you you know because everyone will end up watching it anyway so to sum up really let me know what you're after Paul let me know what you're thinking whether you're going to be using it mobile or home based and uh, you know the fund situation you know what sort of spondoo are you thinking of spending but before I end the video, I will say, look up the foundation license. I don't know whether you've heard of it, seen it, know anything about it. it will, if you take the foundation license, which is easy to do, you'll find that most of the 
local CBers, or at least some of them, will be licensed in some shape or form on the amateur bands. And that, will, if you can get yourself through the foundation license, you can buy amateur radio kit very cheap now. You know, some of this imported stuff from uh, China or Japan or wherever it's coming from. 50 quid, you can get an handheld, speaking at a local repeater and speak to people, you know, miles away. So that's always worth a thought. Maybe something for later on, depending on how you get on with CB. So, uh, again, let us know what you think. If you've got any questions, ask them. And if need be, I'll do another video on what I think of, you know, an antenna that you may want or be looking at. If I know something about it, I'll either do a video about it or leave you a comment. If I know nothing about it, I'll tell you straight. Can't be no fairer than that. So, uh, what we'll say is to anyone watching, you know, if you want to subscribe, that would be great. If you can't be doing with it all, uh, just like the video, just click the like. It helps other people find this video. Something to do with YouTube, how you rank and all of that sort of malarkey. I'm quite new to YouTube, if I'm honest. So I'm still learning myself. So there you go, I hope that's been of some help, Paul, and anyone else who's thinking of starting out on CB. One last thing that I will say is quite important, really. As our numbers have sort of declined, if you're sort of unlucky enough to be in an area where there's not a lot of CBers, you might find yourself switching your new CB on, you can't hear no one. You know, there might be someone in a distant town that you can hear to, and you'll be, you know, it's quite disheartening. A lot of, I've known a lot of people buy a CB after a long layoff or, you know, never been on there before, but I can't see what this is all about. You know, it's crap this, and it ends up in the loft or sold. Try and encourage a friend or a family member uh, to sort of fire up with you. You know, if they're across town or, you know, within sort of five, six, seven miles, you know, and they don't mind spending a few quid, you've got a free line of communication, you know, and it will sort of knock the rust off, and if you're brand new to CB, it's easier to speak to someone you know, because you can get a bit sort of tongue-tied with it all, you know. Yeah, food for thought. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments, and uh, there should be another video out soon. Cheers all, bye.